Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. This is one in a series of solution videos to some of my math challenges. This one is about three circles. And here is how I presented that challenge in the original video. We have here three circles. They are equal in size. Each of them has a radius length of one unit. Each of them has its center on line AB. They touch each other from left to right. The leftmost circle is barely touching, that is tangent to the middle circle here, and the middle circle is tangent to the rightmost circle here. We also have, besides line AB, a slanted line AE. E is the point of tangency, that is the point at which line AE barely touches the third circle. And as you see, this slanted line intersects the middle circle at point C and at point D. Again, each circle has radius length 1. My question is, what is the length of segment CD? Well, at the time, I knew a solution. It involved coordinate geometry and quite a bit of algebra, a rather complicated solution. But two of my respondents pointed out to me a much simpler solution, and that is the solution that I will go over with you now. Here is that same figure with three additional segments drawn. Call P the midpoint, the center of the third circle. Call O the center of the middle circle. Call F the midpoint of CD. Draw PE, OF, and OD. By geometry, we have right angles at E and also at F. And so we have right triangles, AOF and APE. And they share angle A. That makes them, by geometry, similar, and that makes their sides proportional. So in triangle APE, we have side AP, which is 5 radii. That's a length of 5. And PE, a radius, that's a length of 1, or 5 fifths. In the smaller triangle, AOF, we have 3 radii. That's a length of 3. So we have this proportion, 5, 5 fifths, 3, 3 fifths. And so the length OF is 3 fifths. Now consider right triangle OFD. OD is a radius, so its length is 1, or 5 fifths. I recognize here the familiar 3, 4, 5 right triangle of geometry, which you can verify by the Pythagorean equation, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 3 fifths, 5 fifths, so fd must be 4 fifths. 3 fifths, 4 fifths, 5 fifths, a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Since so length fd is 4 fifths, we simply double that and get the length of CD to be 8 fifths. And that's the answer. So there you have my solution to the three circles challenge. I invite you, if you haven't already, to visit the math video section of my profile page and browse and perhaps you would find a math video that you haven't seen yet that you might be interested in. I have a wide variety of them at that play playlist. Thank you for watching this video.